Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. It is Sunday, October 10th, 2021, and I have something very exciting to share. Um, it's a revelation that uh, the Lord's been showing me today. Um, brace yourself for this. Um, we are going to delve into an amazing territory that is probably going to simultaneously bring us so much knowledge and understanding to ourselves. Um, this is for men and women. This is for all of us. This is going to be so good. So I hope you're ready. I hope you're having a good Sunday. I hope you had a nice weekend. Um, I hope you had time to rest and um, unplug a little bit and um, get ready. This is going to be good. Okay, so um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to title this yet, but this is what he has shown me so far. The heart and the mind. So, as we were discussing in the previous video, which I hope you've seen, um, but if not, that's okay. You can go back to it whenever you have some time. Sorry, my hair's still wet, so I'm kind of messing with it a little bit. Sorry if that's distracting. Um, the heart and the mind. Um, in the last video, I was sharing on the spirit, the soul, and the body. The core of self. Um, and I realized that, uh, there is so much to discuss when it comes to the mind. And so I was thinking about it today, um, and I, uh, I was actually searching for my notes on the video that I did, I think I did it last fall, um, or last year, I don't remember exactly, but it was on renewing the mind. I did it on Instagram, and then I uh, uploaded it to YouTube, so it's it's there somewhere. Um, so anyway, I was trying to find those notes, but I couldn't um, because my my stuff is a little bit everywhere right now because of this transition I've been in. So um, so we're gonna start from scratch, and um, which is totally fine with me. Um, for this video, um, but I was, uh, thinking about the mind, and I began to see this correlation between the mind, the role of the mind, um, and how it connects to the heart, which, as I've shared before, the what we think affects how we feel and how we feel affects the decisions we make um and i began to see uh, a role connection very similar to a male and female in terms of um the divine function and intent that humanity was meant to have. Um, so we're going to get into this and the mind, um, is the information center. It is the place where we receive information, we receive words, we receive um, influence, which affects how we think, and that pours into how we feel. Now, I shared in the last video, and I've shared many times before, but our heart is the place 
where um, everything flows out of our lives. Everything we've been through, everything we experience, um, the heart is, um, it is, it is the pulse of, it is the life beat of who we are. Um, and so I'm probably going to use a lot of little pictures. I'm not a great visual artist, but you'll get what I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to show you this again the heart, which I made pink, plus the mind. So if the mind, which again is our thoughts, um, I hope you can read my writing, I'm sorry. I'm doing it a little fast. Affects how we feel. Yikes, I switched colors. Please bear with my DIY setup here. Um, Okay, and all of this leading to our decisions, which comes from our will. Okay, so hopefully you can read this. Okay, so the mind, our thoughts, Thinking, processing, leads to emotion, feelings, and processing. What else did I write there? Processing life. Leads to our decisions. What we decide to do. Okay, so how does this correlate to the male and female? So, God created the man, the male, um, to lead. He created him to carry vision. He created him to um, carry seed, obviously, so that he can um, continue to multiply. The heart is similar to or I should say the mind is similar to the male in terms of uh, the role it plays in our um, soul. Okay, remember what I said before, the soul is the mind, um, the will and the emotions. Um, and in the previous video I shared about how the mind is both uh, intellectual, um, which is, again, knowledge, um, um, reasoning, um, rationalizing, you know, making sense with what we can see, with what we can, with, with the senses of life. I hope I'm making sense. Um, but it is also spiritual, so there's wisdom uh, that comes from the spirit of the mind, uh, which directly comes from God himself. Um, and so the mind is the visionary, if you will, of the soul. Um, so everything that we consume mentally um, is going to pour into 
the emotional part of self, um, which, again, the correlation here is the heart is the female part of the soul, if you will. Um, now, again, the heart, I've said this before, but the heart is interconnected to the spirit and the soul um, beyond what we can intellectually understand. The heart conceives the thoughts that we have. Our emotions are filtered and processed through our heart. Um, so whatever we consume mentally uh, through the mind, through the brain, which is the physical part of the mind, it will affect how we feel, um, not only spiritually and emotionally, but even physically. We can uh, feel uh, what we are processing mentally. Um, and the reason is because the heart um, conceives what we think, um, it produces the fruit of the thoughts, um, it follows the mind, um, I think there's a phrase or it's, I can't remember what it's, what it is exactly about how the, the heart follows, um, follow your heart. So there's this understanding that the heart, um, is designed to follow. And very similar to um, a woman was designed to um, conceive uh, physically, obviously, but also mentally, emotionally, and spiritually from the man. Um, the heart creates. Again, this is part of the reproduction of what it's been uh, given. Um, so, in essence, the heart and the mind are like a spiritual representation of the man and woman, um, and hopefully the God-ordained one, the one where it is perfectly um, synchronized. Um, they are both spiritually anchored, um, and they are both, um, just really astute to what's going on so that they can guard against things that aren't supposed to be in there. Um, so that's our framework. Now we're going to get into it. So let's talk a little bit, and that's why I said this is going to be um, amazing because we're learning both about the function of the mind and the heart, but we're also simultaneously, um, learning about how men and women differ and how, how things, um, how things are, or, or they, they differ in how they process life. Okay, so... Let's go to the beginning. Um, and I know this is probably going to hit a couple of nerves because um, we, again, we all have our different stories and um, we all have hurt and we're all recovering and healing from something. So, but the creator of man and woman had a beautiful um, and perfect will and plan and purpose for a man and woman. Um, he created the man to, to lead um, in a way that is loving, um, gentle, and kind, among other amazing adjectives. But in other words, 
um, a man who leads um, and leads from um, a spirit uh, that is um, pure will do it in such a way. Um, I know if you've experienced otherwise, I grieve with you and I also encourage you that there is hope. Um, and men, um, if you have been on that end of the spectrum, there is hope for you too. It's never too late to start fresh. Um, so a man was created to lead. He is naturally born with um, a vision um, and he is naturally born to to desire to carry out that vision um, now a woman uh, is created to give birth and reproduce um, she also carries a vision. Um, she was also, she was created to follow. Um, the reason being, and this is where, <laughs> all right. Okay, Lord, please help me. Please help me. Okay. Don't get mad at me, ladies. <laughs> I promise we're gonna get some understanding on this and we're gonna be set free okay we were created to follow um, we were created to follow after a man who leads well um, it is not anything to be ashamed of. Um, it is not anything to feel inferior to. Um, our purpose as women is amazing um, because, again, we were created to give birth to vision, um, which is a very powerful and amazing um, privilege to do. Um, if you understand that, um, you were put on this planet to, um, create amazing things. Um, now, I know that there might be a lot coming up to the surface if, again, you've experienced the counterfeit side of the beautiful plan that God had. And there's hope and there's healing, and I, I promise you we're going to get into that in other videos on processing pain and, and overcoming the things that we've been through. But for this video, we're focusing on um, at the very core um, purpose and design of the mind, the heart, and clearly male and female. Um, and while it is a, a beautiful privilege for a woman to um, know herself well and know that she was actually created to um, give birth to um, to vision. Now, I will say this, if you are a single woman um, and you're called to singlehood, you are actually producing uh, the vision that God has put in you that comes directly from Him. So, and that's amazing. Um, but if you are a woman who is called to marriage and uh, you seek that for yourself, and you know that that's a plan God has for you, um, 
this is to encourage you. You are, you are, um, a beautiful gift to the man God has for you, or the man that you are married to, um, to help birth the vision that God has given to him. Men, um, hopefully you know this about your lady, um, that she is a gift to you and that she is um, uh, created to help you um, give birth literally um, to the vision God has put in your heart, in your mind, in your life, in your spirit. Um, so it's very important for us to know, um, first of all, that this was the original creator's design for us um, so that we can steward those things well. Um, so, I hope that this is giving you a very good um, framework um, to understanding this relationship between the mind and the heart, as well as the male and the female. Um, now let's talk about the mind, which honestly, I have no clue how vast this is. Um, but again, I'm sharing what I know, what I understand, um, and really the building blocks to it. Um, because a lot of it really is going to be just you going through the process of uh, uh, getting to know how your mind works if you don't already um, and certainly understanding how to renew your mind especially um, as you grow spiritually as well as um, unraveling uh, the parts of the mind that have been broken by the pain of life, uh, which is a process that I fully believe in and, um, and I have shared and I will continue to share on the importance of that. Um, so, as I mentioned in the previous video, the mind is both mental um, intellectual. Um, that's, sorry about the noise in the background. That's my mom's boyfriend. He's watching a game. Um, the mind is both mental, um, intellectual and mental spiritual. Um, and really, I would say there's a third part, which is the mental emotional connection which is where our thoughts merge into our feelings. Um, so there are three areas that uh, we need to understand and learn how to govern in our life, which is the mental, the emotional, and the spiritual part of the mind, okay? So now the heart, again, um, there's the spiritual part of the heart, um, the emotional part of the heart, um, and then there's the that bridge, that connection between the mind and the heart, so the mental, emotional part of the heart as well. Um, so, let's um, I'm going to actually go to, I'm going to, I'm going to go to two scriptures about each and then, um, actually I'll start with the mind since the mind is the leader.
at the mind. Okay, Romans 8, 6. Like I said, there is so much. Um, it would take us forever to, to get it all right now. Okay, Romans 8, 6. Okay, for to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Um, so, this is actually a very famous scripture, um, and it is understanding the contrast between um, the frequencies of setting the mind. Uh, so, to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. So the spirit is literally God and his, um, his frequency, how he flows spiritually. Um, the flesh um, is, um, is, is also, it, it's also a spiritual part of, this, of the self, but it is also a physical part of the self. Um, and this is where we understand the connection between the soul and the body. Um, so if our mind is set on the flesh, that means that, uh, it is focused on the part of self that, uh, is, um, is struggling. I think that's the best way to put that because really everyone sins um, even if you're a Christian you sin every day um, so it's really understanding that um, if you don't learn how to govern uh, what's coming into your mind um, and how it affects you um, then you're sort of in this perpetual state of struggle so when you come to that knowledge of, okay, I've been through some stuff, um, it's obviously affecting me, um, and I can get out of it, um, then that's when the breakthrough begins, because now you understand that I don't have to stay stuck in this place of uh, just feeling like I'm constantly on an uphill battle. I can take ownership, I can take authority over how I think, I can take authority um, over uh, what I'm allowing to come into my mind and my heart. Um, okay, so uh, that was uh, Romans 8, 6, if you're interested in uh, looking at that a little bit more. And then I'm going to look up one on the heart. And we will, oh my, there's so many. Um, oh, yes, thank you, Lord. Proverbs 4.23, that was so easy. Um, and this is actually going to set us free. Okay, Proverbs 4.23. Keep your heart with all diligence, for from it flow the springs of life. Keep your heart with all vigilance. Now, there's different translations. Um, some say guard your heart, um, which um, I, I think I've shared before, but I have a video on how to guard your heart. I encourage you to watch it. Um, I'll probably do more on, um, you know, the process of, of guarding and cultivating and tending to what's in our heart. So, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Other translations say the issues of life. In other words, everything that you have been through um, has been processed through your heart. Now, whether or not it has been um, fully processed or if there are things that are still in there because you haven't uh, arrived at a place where you understand how to um, let go of some things. Everything goes through the heart and everything comes from the heart. So um, everything
everything. Um, everything. I mean, whatever you have carried, uh, your heart will reveal it. Now, this can show up in a myriad of ways. I mean, it can be how you carry yourself, how you talk to people, how you relate, um, you know, addiction, uh, all of it, all of it. Um, so our heart is so precious and important to get to know and to take care of. Um, so, the heart and the mind, um, part of the amazing inner being that we all have, um, they are designed to be one. Um, they are created to care for one another and empower one another to be the best you that you can be. So as you can see, it's really important for us to know them, um, to know how they work, and certainly to know how to take care of them. So I think, is there any more? Because I feel like this is a nice um, stopping point. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask me. If you have any um, requests on stuff we can talk about, I would love that. I would love to know. Um, I would love to do live on YouTube, but I am I'm a little intimidated by it because I don't tend to do well with live streams as, as far as saving them goes. So, um, but I'd be happy to do a live stream if anyone wants to tell me if they're interested in that. So I might premiere this. Um, I hope you're doing well and um, continue to just be still and remember that um, God is taking good care of you in spite of everything. I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.